Hello tankers and tankettes! Well, it's been a little while since I've said that. And welcome to what is not at all a hastily last minute put together Christmas video because my brain's been non-functional this week. That's not at all what's been happening. Um, well, okay, maybe a little bit. This has basically been a confluence of a couple of different things. I mean, the general election, you know how I feel about that result. Uh, but also some family health news, which is kind of on the serious side, but not that serious but still has been kind of worrying and that there was another thing that happened as well which I'm not going to go into because it's kind of personal but anyway it's all just kind of clumped together all at once and I decided that I was going to curl into a ball for a week as I sometimes tend to do but it is on the verge of being Christmas in fact it's Christmas Eve as I'm recording this so I figured I would update World of Tanks because it wasn't even up to date for like the last two patches or however long it's been. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I have opened it to find this. Apparently I'm being given a thing because it's my uh, a Super Hellcat because my thing, my account's seven years old. Oh God, seven years. Has it really been seven years? Jeepers. I haven't played this in probably months at this point. So I'm going to be so bad. This is just going to be me sitting down and whittering over a video in lieu of some actual well thought out proper Christmas thing. Which is kind of ironic because in terms of actual presents, I've been a bit more organised than usual this year. I, uh, I've, I've, I made some fudge. That's what I've been doing today. I've been watching films and doing lines of fudge off my, my uh, kitchen worktop. Uh, <laughs> Not a euphemism, actual fudge. Um, yeah, I found a recipe that's really easy to do a couple of years ago, and then every ever, ever since then, whenever I'm stuck for an idea as, as a present for somebody, I just make some fudge instead, which is horrible for their teeth, but, you know, nobody's ever turned it down, so I must be doing something right. This year's was highly experimental. Instead of uh, white chocolate and cranberry, which is the usual thing that's in the recipe, I instead went for milk chocolate and some chocolatey biscuits, Leibniz biscuits. And some of you may or may not know what those are, but there was some chocolate variety ones that just had the exact right amount of crunch. I know it sounds a bit weird, crunchy fudge, but it kind of works. Although next time I do it, I am going to use more biscuits and better quality chocolate because the cooking chocolate I bought is okay. It's turned out all right, but it could definitely be better. Anyway, I, I'm just filling you in on my fudgy adventures. I haven't even looked at it. It's, it's a bunch of blueprints and some dames of premium. And apparently I got Super Hellcat, which I'm vaguely as aware of as a, as a, a recently added thing. Uh, increased focus. Oh, is that one of the directives things? I think so. Yes. And uh, are these... Okay, a couple of universal fragments. Are these ones I'll actually want to use? No idea. That's for a tier 5 artillery. That's obviously something I'll, I'll be desperate to use. Having said that, you know, honest to goodness, um... I don't play this game anymore, really, so I don't even know why I'm saying, oh yeah, I would or wouldn't use this, because I absolutely wouldn't, really. Uh, I got Charles de Gaulle as a... That, that actually kind of fits, because he, he um, uh, came up as a... Was it a cavalry tank commander? That, that, that's how he spent part of his military career. I can't remember the specifics. Gosh, there are a lot of freebie crates. It's weird this year. It's weird when we can say nicer things about the World of Tanks Christmas event than the World of Warships one. It's deeply weird. There's something wrong there. But that's just how big of a screw up. Uh, oh, we got that again, apparently. Uh, that's how big of a screw up Wargaming Leicester made with the, uh, uh, the whole uh, Puerto Rico fiasco, which was a complete fiasco. <laughs> At least they, they had a third Charles de Gaulle, excellent. Um, at least they have been uh, giving refunds to people that want them for the any any boosters that have been purchased if people bought them before realising the absolutely monumental scale of the grind required. But 
you know, hopefully they'll learn some lessons, maybe. It's not like I am desperately keen on how it's been going in terms of monetization over the past year. It seems to have culminated in the utter fiasco that we have, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Wargaming will scale things back a bit. Leicester will uh, decide to have another look at their plans. I don't know. Right, so, um, uh, oh, that's uh, this year's freebie tank, I guess, AMR-35, some decorations, I think last year I even I played enough to grind out some decorations, but I just have no interest this year at all, this is, this is purely just because I'm going to sit down and, uh, we get Santa Claus as a... Okay, sure. Um, oh, I have to d decide which... I don't even know. Oh, do I even care what crews... Ugh. Give me a second to figure out which tank I'm going to put this in. Hang on. Right, so with that taken care of... Yeah. It, it It's time to do a thing. <laughs> a thing I will most likely regret. However, I was just having a quick poke around and realised that, well, we can make this a little bit more Christmassy because there is a Christmas camo available, which does seem to apply to all of the uh, different things. So let's just do that. And there we go. <laughs> very, very Christmassy indeed. <laughs> Okay, let's gird our loins. Let's do this. How bad can it be? Man, it's been so long since I've played this that I don't even have any premium time left, apart from the days I just got there for my, uh, you know, seven years. Seven years! Oh, Jesus. Um, yes. Uh, anyway, because th there isn't even uh, that much point to having the shared premium time now. It it's... Purely, you know, they found a way to, to make you pay, if you play both this and Warships, for two separate lots of premium time. I mean, you can still play for, uh, pay for regular premium time, but of course it's less good than the actual varieties. And my mouse has gone wonky. Excellent. So, top tier. Which is excellent as well. And I'm also just going to check my... Uh, is my field of view always 90? I don't know, that feels weirdly narrow for some reason. Actually, did I... Uh, I think it should be up to maximum. There we go. I was thinking that felt weirdly constrained. So. World of Tags. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing, really. This is This is absolutely just let's sit down and record a thing and see where my brain takes me. Which, to be fair, is is a, a lot of the times the normal process for making a video anyway. But, uh, like I said, my brain's not exactly been fully functional the last week or so. So, uh, at this point, I'll just take what I can get in terms of actually recording. So, um, by the way, uh... You know, Merry Christmas and all that. Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, Happy anything else that might apply. <laughs> this is the point of this video, after all. Uh, I actually... Uh, I know at least one of the presents I'm getting, because it was one I asked for. <laughs> which is a, a, usually a, quite a, a good way of uh, knowing you'll get something you'll like. But uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2. Now that that's on PC, I mean it's been on PC for a little bit, but uh, I was waiting for it to not be on the Epic Store, and lo and behold it is no longer just on the Epic Store. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to playing that because I know it has its flaws, but it just seems like a really gorgeous world to explore. And uh, I've even been in preparation playing a bit more uh, GTA 5, or, well, mostly GTA Online, actually, which has added a whole bunch of new stuff, including a new heist, which was kind of fun, but was weirdly short for the actual heist. Most of the time it seemed to be spent in uh, 
setting up the whole thing. It was okay though, but if I want hasty fun, you know, I go and play uh, Payday 2 usually, which I come back to every so often. And that's actually a, 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 a thing that's been, I don't know if you're aware, but um, the company, the, the publisher slash developer, uh, is it Overkill or Starbreeze? I can't remember, they're kind of the same and kind of not. Um, they uh, went through a spot of difficulty in that their former uh, chairman, chief, whatever, had basically blown a bunch of money on uh, particularly VR projects that were uh, quite ill-advised, didn't make a lot of money, and uh, ultimately sent the company into a rather perilous financial state alongside stuff like the failed Walking Dead game. Uh, yeah, um, it's... Uh, made the company go nearly under so they've had to go back to their main money making thing which they have which is payday 2 and uh, they've started putting out the, uh, the DLC style content for it again which they kind of said they were going to not and then you know they have and rather than try and paint it as you know this is oh it's good for the fans and obviously it, it's what you want they didn't try and bullshit their way out of it as many companies like to do in these situations they actually went well this is the main... Oh, that's an F30. That's not good for me. They went, this is... Uh, you know, this is this is a way we have to make money at the moment right now. So we're going to do that. And uh, we know we said we wouldn't. And it's not ideal. But, you know, let's uh, actually try and uh, get the company back on a more stable footing. Right, this 38 NA is firing all of the gold at me. And I do have a decent enough, you know, gun to pen his armour. But when you just spam that much APCR, yeah, this is why I don't miss World of Tanks. I really don't. I really don't. This was not a bad outing for the AMX, uh, AMX 40 otherwise. I probably did advance a bit too far there. I panicked and should have backed up. Because I thought the F-30 was going to start blatting away at me with that rather nasty 85mm. But as it turns out, no, it was the APCR spamming guy up on the hill. So that was fun. So, yeah, um, that that was, I, I think, to uh, Starbreeze's credit that they actually came out and just up front said, yeah, we're doing this because the company's been in trouble and we need to make a bit of money. And that was fair enough. Everyone seems to have pretty much accepted that within the community. Which, it, it, it's, it's almost refreshing when a company, a games developer actually comes out and gives you an actual reason rather than the, giving you the kind of BS that you expect from the EAs of the world and well hell wargaming sometimes as well unfortunately <laughs> we've had some ripe examples of that in the past not just the current PR stuff but uh, does anyone remember the, the Graf Zeppelin when it was blatantly unfinished but on sale and they tried to pretend that uh, no no it, it's just you're just playing it wrong and that lasted for a weekend before they had to rather embarrassingly walk back on that one and I'm sure there's been other examples as well where they've tried to say no no it's uh, it, it, it's fine the problem isn't us the problem is you and then eventually they go uh, well actually no maybe the problem is us I think we're losing this by the way <laughs> maybe At least the matchmaking was rather refreshing. I absolutely do not miss that at all about World of Tanks. It, it can be bad in warships, of course, but uh, even bad matchmaking in warships is something I'll take any day over bad matchmaking in World of Tanks. So I, I think we'll just skip ahead to the score screens on this one, rather than make you sit out the rest of this through all my waffling. So there we are, they actually won by capping <laughs> in the end, okay, uh, but you know, it was the quicker way to do it rather than hunt down the last tank, I suppose. Uh, th there was one other thing I wanted to mention actually, and you know what, we'll have another gun, uh, another go. Another gun? Another go! I'm going to push my luck. It'll be tier 6s, I guarantee. Uh, but um, yeah, but the new, the new graphics card is performing rather nicely, and uh, I've actually had another uh... 
<clears throat> so there we are. Um, unsurprisingly, we didn't win that one. No last minute Christmas miracles. <laughs> Let's have another go. Let's do one more. See if we get as lucky with the matchmaking this time. Uh, there is one thing I also wanted to, to mention I, I, I thought of whilst watching the tail end of that battle, and that is that my, my new graphics card does seem to be performing rather nicely. Um, just even whilst recording this, it's happily recording at 100 and... Well, the client's running at 160 frames a second. I'm not recording at 160 FPS. But previously it was around about 100. So that's obviously a notable improvement. World of Tanks these days runs reasonably well anyway but yeah with a lot of games i have noticed a definite improvement with uh, fps rates so that's been quite nice but the bigger benefit to me has been in terms of rendering i can now actually do hardware renders reliably which i couldn't before uh, well i mean i could do them but i didn't like the results on my own uh, my old card whereas on this one not only is it rendering off the hardware a lot quicker because it's rendering straight from a much more powerful card but the actual video results I'm getting are rather nicer as well so that's been a, a big benefit I, I did mention this on one of my warships videos where I said the the rendering looked a bit different because it was a, a, a different codec process essentially but uh, that it was uh, something I wasn't displeased with so I've decided to stick with that because it is a lot quicker than uh, previously. And it was already considerably sped up with the uh, the, the hardware upgrade I did, uh, what, like two years and a bit ago, two years ago? And I did all the, you know, the processor and the motherboard and all the rest of the gubbins. I'd always fully intended to uh, leave the video card for a later date and hope that the price has gone a bit less nutty. And they did, fortunately, the cryptocurrency craze seemed to die down a bit which was one of the major things that was uh, absolutely spiking prices all over the place and uh, was also horribly unenvironmentally friendly to boot just the amount of electricity being sucked down by uh, cryptocurrency uh, farms it's like literally enough to match the output of small European countries kind of thing, which is, you know, a considerable amount of extra electricity that, that needs to be generated from somewhere. And that of all, of course, comes with a cost. I don't particularly want to be on the front lines in this one. It's not quite as bad as tier 6 matchmaking. But, you know, it's still not good. I don't particularly want to face a KV-220 in my duck. But uh, that's what we might be looking at. I wonder if I can maybe get into position to HE their tracks. Let my buddies work them over a bit. Of course, if he's got enough gun depression, he, he won't even expose that much. I really hope we didn't hit an ally there. I blew his track off. Let's see, keep working him over. It's about the best I can hope for here, is just perma-track this guy. Which I do have a good enough reload for. There we go, excellent. And out of that, I got a grand total of 46 assistance damage. Woo! Bad news is the experimental's down, their experimental's there, and I actually, I think, need to go to my heat ammo. Stuck doesn't seem particularly inclined to peek out. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is a little bit awkward. Because, you know, you can take off a reasonable chunk of my hit points in one go without trying too hard. Oh, Ashdog's having a go at it. This could be an opportunity to see if the experimental takes a shot. Our experimental's just kind of sitting there, actually. 
Right, is it the Stug dead? Maybe. Okay, the P26 is going for it. The Stug is going around. So let's let's have a go. I can, in theory, survive one direct hit. It's fired. There goes our experimental. I think. I hope my. Oh god, no! That did nothing. That might have gone in the tracks. Go. So, go on, Stug. Do him. Do him. Wow, a whopping 95 damage. God, to think how long, how many years this tank's been in the game and how long it's needed some love and that it's never ever had that love well. <laughs> right, that was half my health. It's fine. I've done a massive 200 damage. We might even be winning this one. I don't know what my mouse is doing, by the way. It, it's. I think there's a bit of fluff in the optical sensor or something. It happens occasionally. I have no idea what the gun the, the SAV has, but I suspect it's a derp. I think it's a derp. I'm hoping it's got terrible view range. That is the only tank left near their base. We might even win this one, and I've done so much. So much. <laughs> oh, duck. Let's actually switch to HE. I think the SAV has got thin enough armor that I could... Uh, Maybe get a penny hit. Problem is, if I start advancing over open ground, well, the gun handling on this is pretty dang bad. So trying to take any shots when you're moving is, uh, yeah, a bit of a non-starter. You just need so long to sit and aim. Right, he's not peeking out. Let's try moving up and hope I don't have to make a snapshot that purely relies on RNG. Oh, no, there he is. No, okay, he's not actually in a position to... I don't know what gun he's using. Ah, let's just go to... No, we'll stick with HE. If it pens, it's going to do more damage. I might even reach the heady heights of... Oh, I was going to say, I might even reach the heady heights of 300 damage done, but no. Hooray, a win! Obviously, you know, my contribution was vital. Yes. So vital. So, that's about it, really. Uh, a loss and a win. <laughs> it's about as much as you can hope for in the AMX. At least the matchmaking wasn't too horrible. So, yeah, a merry duckmas to you all, I suppose. That was the <laughs> entire point of picking out the AMX so I could make that pun. God, I hope it was worth it. <laughs> so, wherever you are, I wish you, again, a happy Christmas and uh, a merry new year. That's the way round you say it, right? And, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, have, a, have a good rest of your 2020. And I shall see you next time.